Hello again, everyone. Now that we have our questions and answers formatted and our picture is finished, we're ready to start the magic, the mystery part of conditional formatting. So I'm going to just dig in. I'm going to start with selecting all of the cells of a particular color. I'm going to take all of these cute little light green leaves, geometric sort of leaves. I'm holding the control key down in order to select them all. We'll do two of the leaves on the first one. Okay, collecting every square. And once you've done that, you're holding control the whole time. You're also going to click on your answer box. And you're going to open the format menu and go down to conditional formatting. A box will open here that identifies um, your range, which is all of the cells you just selected. And then the next part is your rules. This is where we're going to make our formula. Click on the down arrow and go scroll all the way to the bottom and choose custom formula is. In this custom formula, you are going to identify the answer cell. Start by clicking the equal sign. And then the cell that we are working with, our answer cell, is in column C and it is in row three. We don't need the entire range for that box, just the first row. So the way you type this is dollar sign C, dollar sign three. That identifies this box and only this box. And now we're gonna tell our formula, what do we want it to do? Or what, what we want to see in that cell. We want the number to be seven. If you notice, when I clicked on seven, this changed to that light green color and so did all of those leaves that we had selected. The next part of what you're gonna do is tell the system what do you want to happen if this answer cell equals seven? You want to change it all to this particular color. You'll see all of the cells that were collected as part of that range, including the answer cell, are all now green. And we're gonna click on done. There's something very important to do after clicking on done. Don't do anything else after clicking done go immediately to your fill bucket click on fill and click reset now immediately you don't see anything happen but what we did was we took our original color out of here so that when we delete this answer colors and those spaces disappear now if you notice we still have this conditional format is still tied to this cell when we're on this cell it opens up here so i'm going to type a seven back in that cell and all of our boxes that were part of the range now appear again as light green. The reason we do the reset is because these are all colored as they are right now, and we need to tell the program to only color them when the answer is inputted. I'm going to delete that one and show you another one. This time around, I'm going to click some brown, and I want it to kind of be cells all over the place. I really should start with clicking this one first, and I'll tell you why when we get to the formatting. We click on our answer cell, and then hold the control key, and let's just click on some random cells that are all this light brown tan color. You can click on however many you want. Okay, that looks like enough. Our conditional formatting window is still open from before. We're going to click on add another rule. Okay. If you notice, our range, all the cells that we've selected are now listed in this area. If you click on this little uh, window symbol here, it shows you all of the cells that are collected. Okay. Selected, excuse me. <clears throat> now we want to format these cells not if something is empty. We want to format them with our custom formula. Scroll down to the bottom. All right, identify our answer cell. The custom formula equals dollar sign C, dollar sign seven. You notice 
This answer cell is in row number seven, column C. Now, if it equals nine, that's when we want our magic to happen. The default setting is this mint green color. So it changed all of our ones to mint green. Well, I'm going to change it to the correct color, which is the light brown. Okay, so it looks good on our picture now. We're going to click done. And right away, go up to our fill bucket. Click on reset. Then go to our answer box. Delete it. And we should see all of our cells that were part of our last formula should disappear. Okay. I will show you again, just so you get the hang of it. Let's choose some dark brown. I have the answer box highlighted. Hold the control key down and then select a bunch of cells of a particular color. I like to make mine a mystery, uh, not do very many cells in the beginning so that the kids have to kind of guess what the picture might be. Okay, that's a nice random selection of dark brown cells. Okay, we have everything selected. We can let go of our control key right now. We go to add another rule. Our whole range is now highlighted. We want to set our formula. Scroll to the bottom. Custom formula is equals dollar sign C dollar sign 11. You see our answer box is in row 11. And if it equals five, that's when we want it to do some formatting. It changed to that default mint green. We're gonna change it to the dark brown. Okay, that looks nice. And we're gonna click on done. Go up to reset your colors, fill color reset, answer box and and away went ourselves. See one other thing I like to do with the next one, and that is highlight that answer cell, control key, select all of the black ones here. It is hard to tell when you selected the black, you kind of have to do your best. And I'm actually going to show what happens if you forget one of them. Okay, we have most of our blacks selected. We left one out on purpose this time just to show you what happens. All right, we are going to go to our formula. Custom formula is equals dollar sign C, dollar sign 15. We want it to equal eight. Okay. You can tell we have got the right thing because it'll change to that minty green, but we're going to change it to black because that's what color we want his eye. Now, when that happens, you can no longer see the answer over here. I like the kids to still be able to see the answer because I think that's why we're doing this. I want them to be able to visually see that. So I changed the text color in this conditional formatting to white. It doesn't affect anything in your picture because there's no text in your picture. It just really affects this answer box and lets the answer show up as white. Okay, again, we're going to click done and we're going to go to our fill bucket and reset. Go to our answer cell and delete. Now, remember, we missed this one little guy here. Well, how can we do that? How can we change that? We're going to go back into our custom formula. And we're going to click on our range. What we need to do is add this cell to our range. Our range opens up. You can move this box around. And we're going to add another range here at the bottom. And we're going to go click on this little cell. It's now in there. We click OK and Done. We have to go and reset again. Always have to reset after you click Done. Reset. And it disappeared because the answer is not in there. I put the answer back in there, you will see that all of the cells, even the one I added there at the end, show up when you type in the correct answer. Okay, I'm going to finish the rest of this formatting, and I'm going to put this file in the comment section so that you can have it and use it for yourself um, and try it out.